if it was a little creep on its way. There you go. It's All right, three days. It's the first installment. It takes three dailies. Uh, Ernest Christian here. Uh, literally minutes after the Money in the Bank first pay per view uh, with crowds in 15 months. Well, not minus WrestleMania, of course. You guys attended. Uh, yes. Mike and Joe here. Um, we're doing it. God, what a fucking show, huh? You do know that he's going to fuck this whole format up because it's taking six minutes to introduce us. Yeah, no, seriously. Okay, so let's just jump right into it, right? Yeah, let's go right now. 15 or less. The biggest highlight of this show, match-wise, was definitely the Charlotte, Flair, and Rhea Ripley match. That match was awesome. That match stole the show. Yes, that's right. I agree with you. No complaints about that match whatsoever, other than the fact that was was the network having the issues yeah. then? Yeah, like, everybody like, right else would have that match. After that yeah. match, literally after that match, the backstage the backstage thing with the with the money in the blank uh, participants went haywire. Money in the blank. Like, yes, that, that money in the bank. Sorry. Yes, <laughs> yes. It's like Madonna and, and Dick Tracy. It's the right. Money in the blank. Money in the blank. Uh, the um, highlight of the show was not a match. It was the simple. Yes. Return of the. Arguably the greatest world champion in wrestling history. Right. The one, the only Juan Cena. That's what was going right. on at the end of the show. I couldn't see him. <laughs> By the way, real quick, can I give you a quick synopsis of what happened in the Christian household real quick when it happened? Lauren literally went upstairs to pick, wake up Eli to go see it. That's awesome, actually. Yeah. That's the kind of effect that he, Cena has. He comes downstairs his wiping his eyes like this. Hey, Daddy, can you see me? <laughs> But that's honestly, and that's exactly why they brought back John Cena because yeah. that's the reaction that he gets yeah. out of people. He's absolutely, he, it's like must see TV. John absolutely. Cena is one of the few things that they have going for them right now. And yeah, he's probably not going to stick around for more than SummerSlam or whatever. And he probably needs to shave his head because I could see his bald spot. But Are otherwise, you sure about that? You don't think you get a little couple months out of him beyond SummerSlam? I think he's one of the main stars in one of the biggest movies in the country right now. And is very involved in Hollywood, and that's just not the person who comes back for six months. That's the person who comes back for two months. I think he wins the world title at SummerSlam, and then he'd probably stick around a little bit longer. Wait, 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 wait Mike, wait, we're doing this already. Predictions already. The people who haven't been fucking toasted for an hour, and you were doing this who shit. Had, who had the biggest pop of the night? Oh, no, my question is fucking John Cena. Who has sixteen world titles and can break the record of fucking one Ric Flair with one more title win? John Cena. Yeah. That hurt her too. Her Charlotte's on the hey, Charlotte. Craig. Craig's here, guys. By the way, Ricochet. Yeah, hi, Craig. One day, one day Ricochet will get there. We all know that. One day Ricochet will get there. <laughs> will get there. <laughs> I mean, he's, he's only one U.S. title reign into it right now. Let's go. <laughs> I mean, anyway. No, but real quick to what Joe said earlier. To start start this uh, pod. Um, I I could be agree with you. Match of the night was Charlotte and Rhea. Mm-hmm. And the men's Money in the Bank match was a close second, in my opinion. That match was delivering yes. in a lot of ways. I left the house to go to McDonald's for my wife because the shit was fucking peacocking up. So I went to leave and I... Yeah, so what you had to do was, like, close out the app yeah. and go back into it. Yeah. That's what we ended up discovering. Yeah. Yeah. But Twitter, the Twitter it's feed. Worth uh, go back and watch that match. I will. Anyone who hasn't seen it, go back and watch that so match. You, that's fantastic. So I'm done, so I'm, so I'm done with you two jabronis on my screen, I'm going to do that. Yeah. Hmm. So wait, how'd you feel about Seth Rollins being involved in the main event? It's predictable. Predictable. We all called that. We called that weeks ago. We all said Seth and Edge, SummerSlam, that's going to happen, yep. obviously. And the, the only reason why I'm okay with that having happened is because I want that Edge and Seth Rollins match so badly. That might be the match I'm most excited about for the potential SummerSlam card. Yeah. I thought, like, nothing surprised me about the main event, honestly. It's, but the execution was great. Uh, I think there's a couple of things that actually surprised me about the main event. Uh, okay. Usos getting involved, but then getting dwarfed by the Mysteriosos. Uh, that was pretty interesting, seeing how they're going to keep that feud going. Yeah. It's salty uh, as hell. Those are the tag titles. Obviously, the obviously show. Seth getting involved. Um, the fact that this match went like 33 minutes, and I don't think there was another match on the show that went over like 20. Uh, it did seem at points where that match was very kind of rest holdy. It was very slow to my but, to me personally. But, I found it. But I slow. also feel like that's been Roman's offense since he's one of his new heel character is just kind of lay on people and like grind out matches and make them very long and tedious. And, and the thing is, and first of all, we all agree I'm the expert on grinding out anything here. I am on grinder. So the thing is, though, I'm gonna say it right. Like for me, watching it, I mm -hmm. felt it was very slow. And I remember I actually said to Mike and Craig, I don't think this is gonna work. 
in front of live crowds, but then the live crowd was actually kind of eating it up. So what do I know? Apparently then again, the 15 minutes of the fucking match was probably him walking down the aisle. I mean, God, it did. Take forever, it did. It, yeah, <laughs> you were even like, I'm kind of over this theme song. At this I thought point. the Undertaker's entrance was long. Yeah. He makes the Undertaker look like he sprinted to the fucking ring. Undertaker has been sprinting like 30 years. Yeah. No, Roman Reigns has the BBC of wrestling entrances. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Real quick, oh. I thought they. I I would have rather seen the uh the SmackDown tag title match on the main show. Why? I would. I would have liked it. It was a great Why? match. What what match? Put on the I'll put the uh, the other the rock title the rock title title uh, match. You're gonna put one of your, arguably your best in ring competitors on a pre show whenever you have Dominic Mysterio in a match. And not for You're nothing, yeah, and not for nothing that raw tag title match was a lot better than I expected it to be. It makes me sad. It was good. That the Viking, it makes me sad that the Viking Raiders have essentially become a joke tag team, but they can go in the ring and they at least had that chance tonight. And I would like almost to, has gotten a lot better. I'd like to state that Craig brought out a really good point during that match. Uh, the, the Viking Raiders need to change their name because they're gimmick infringing upon two NFL franchises. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a good point. Uh, I mean, that it almost has gotten a lot better in the ring. I, yeah, he actually hit that like choke bomb. Yeah, thing without, no, he looked like, good. Breaking his own ankle. Yeah, almost. Raise your hand if you had Nikki, formerly Nikki Cross, winning the um, women's money in the blank. Money, money figured, in the bank. I figured she would come close. I thought that Alexa Bliss was going to take it hands down. I definitely had Me her too. as the last person to touch the, the title, the contract before leaving. But, but you know what? I'm excited for Nikki. I love that she's getting this push. I I don't love the character personally, but I love that it's her idea, and I love that yeah. they're running with it. And I hate the fact that basically the finish was her just climbing on top of somebody to get the briefcase. But, but, like but like we said, but like we said, They've never actually done that finish before. Right. They always have that spot yeah. in these ladder matches where everyone's up there, everyone's going for it, and then except for Alexa, who was buried under ninety seven right. ladders. But they always do yeah. that spot. That's crazy. And then, and then invariably, everyone ends up falling off and everything. And this time, you actually had someone reach up over everyone and just kind of grab it. So and she's like the second shortest person in the match. That yeah. Sense. That's only. No and, and that yeah. match was really good. Every time Tamina wasn't Taminaing it up. Mm -hmm. And Natty wasn't moving 25 miles an hour slower than everybody else. Actual. So I don't know if you agree with this. Like Liv Morgan in there, or uh -huh. Zelina, or Asuka, or Alexa, or Naomi. Naomi looks really good. They need to give that girl. A different Thank you. Already. Thank you. Um, I love how they booked the Lashley Kofi the match. I hated. It. No, I hated that it. I loved it. I loved it. That was, it, was so bad. it was worse than him losing to Brock Lesnar. I kind of agree. It was god awful. It was a, he got it was one a, offensive such a squash. Movement. Yeah, Superman agrees. Why did you like <laughs> it? Quick, you got twenty five seconds. Why did you like it? A, it gave Bobby a nice little reset. Remember the whole thing last reset. week on Raw? What reset. What no, no, basically, you know, you know, he got soft and MVPs this and that, and then Bobby gets all pissy on Raw, and now he comes out and proves that basically got you know badass is back. This guy's he, an idiot. He, he but he could have done that. With soft, we're gonna slip it a little bit. But he, he could have call. done that with Kofi not yeah, looking he, like three moves off. Yeah, like Kofi could have hit Trouble in Paradise once or twice is, and still had same the there. offense and, and still had Bobby looking strong by kicking out of that. I will say this much. Uh, after seeing the Lesnar-Cena match years ago in SummerSlam, where, where Lesnar dominated Cena. Oh, yeah, Cena happens to be one of the greatest champions of all time. Yeah, anybody that's able to get that shit, I'll be okay with it. So. Oh, God. Fair enough. You know, uh, uh, what else? Here? Hold on. Um... Oh, the season. We yeah, we almost covered the entirety of the show. At this I think point, we, we did. Um, yeah, I, I, I actually, the wrong time match was decent, nasty. Um, other than that, really, that's about it. That's, a, that's the whole show, really. All right. What are the results, wrap ups before we finish this uh, quick 15 minute podcast up? In the pre show, the Usos win the SmackDown tag titles, defeating the Mysteriosos. Which, by the way, me and Joe decided to name them. And, and very exciting that Jimmy Uso has something to toast to tonight. So that's yeah. always a great yeah. thing. Yeah. Uh, as we reported, Nick tonight, we're getting fucked up. <laughs> as reported, Nikki, almost superhero, wins the women's Money in the Bank ladder match. AJ and Omos retain over the Viking experience. Raiders or War Raiders. Or All the Raiders. Can we, can we point out, too, the 
if nothing has ever made the difference between early 2000s WWE and today's WWE product more apparent than the fact that Nikki running around as a superhero is being called Nikki almost superhero. And when Rosie did it back in the early 2000s, he was the superhero in training or shit. <laughs> like nothing points out the difference more than that. Uh, Bobby Lashley retains the WWE title over Kofi Kingston. Seven minutes and 35 seconds. That match was awful. Uh, Charlotte Flair wins the Raw Women's women's title. We didn't talk about that at any point. Can I say real quick? It was the best match. We talked about the match. We didn't talk about Charlotte. Best match? I think this is good for Rhea. I think Rhea could benefit from chasing now a little bit. This is a good reset. This is a good reset. Because her title reign has sucked. This is a good reset. Bobby Lashley winning in seven minutes. Not going to be said. Sorry, Ernest, you were incorrect about that. Yeah, and they also need to just get rid of the Joker animated <laughs> look of Rhea Ripley. Rhea Ripley looks, looks like the animated the Joker. Side. She looks like the Joker. From the anim- Batman, the animated series, it's 100%. Look, hair Google, a look bit. it up, it's 100%. I yeah. Grow hair yeah, I'm with you. No, Rhea needs this. I think Rhea needs a nice little reset here. It's good. Um, and I, 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 like, and I like the feud, too. It's a good feud. It's actually a good feud. I'm, it, ready, I'm ready for it to be over for a little while. I'm okay I'm with good. it continuing so, now that it's changed a little bit. Where do you go? Where does Rhea go from here? And Rhea could possibly even use a break. Mm-hmm. It's more a question about who Charlotte might defend the title against a oh, SummerSlam. Wait a minute. I figured out where, I figured out where Rhea's going. Where? Gotham. <laughs> Gotham. <laughs> this um, is the women's division needs an IC belt. Mid card. Uh, I don't think they have enough women. Card, they don't have enough women to make that worthwhile. It's either yeah. heavyweight or tag team. Yeah, but they don't even have enough women to do the tag division. That's kind of right. crappy. That's why they need a mid card. They they need more stay. women on the yeah. personally. Uh, okay. Biggie wins the men's money in the bank ladder match. I did not see that coming. I really thought Riddle was going to win. Everyone wanted Biggie to win. Pick, I picked Riddle too, but I'm happy the result. <laughs> everyone wanted R- hey, Biggie to win. None of us knew what your picks were because you didn't do the PW scorecard, genius. I forgot, dude. Yeah, you're an idiot. I'm sorry. Main event: thirty-three minutes, ten seconds. The head of the table. Defeats uh, on this day. Uh, stop. You see clearly. Okay. All right. So we got the results in. We got three minutes left in this. We don't yeah, have we the got whole three minutes. We're not going more than three minutes. I have I have a proposal here. Let's throw it out. We all know right now the rumor is tomorrow night on Raw. Oh God. Bill Goldberg. Show's over. Goodbye. Being dusted off. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. Give it to me here, okay? All of us, including you, Craig. Wow. Why hold not? On, hold on. You just hold guys to give it to you. I don't think we could do that I'm, I'm on a podcast. Gay as fuck. Okay. I, I, so I just say, I think we do this on video. You sure we can. People make big careers off All of right, that. I trust me, I've been Googling it. There's a company that's very reputable around here in Florida that does gay porn that I might just try to get into because like Okay. So, anyway. Um anyway, so we have now two minutes and twenty four seconds. In that time, one word reaction from each and one of us about the idea of Bill Ger- Goldberg. Gilbert, Gilbert? Bur- 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 Gilbert? Not, Bill not Goldberg possibly showing up tomorrow night on Raw. One word I got reaction. One. If you go I'm... more than one word, I come and beat you up. Next. Mike. Craig. Rock. Bazinga. I hope. I wish. <laughs> oh, God. Come on, one word. Mike, you got this. I don't think I can. I don't think I can narrow it down to one. I one word. Probably... One word. No. That's the best one word. Abysmal. Oldberg. Abomination. <laughs> That's going to. Nobody wants to see that, which is why WWE is going to give it to us. Tomorrow. If you hated Raw before this week, you're going to hate Raw before tomorrow. <laughs> Spinal <laughs> injuries. If, if Goldberg actually shows up tomorrow night on Raw, I predict that the week after is the week where Dynamite finally beats Raw in the ratings. I will predict that if, if he shows up on the show, somebody on this panel will have them in their top three for the next, for, for the fucking, uh, of the week. Oh my god. All right, we got one minute left. Can I just close with the tweet that I sent out before? Go ahead. Let me, okay, you go with that. I, I'm going to close with plug okay. some things. So real fast, tweet that Back out before. Tweet that I sent out before. Oh my god, it's the cutest. Because mm-hmm. I realized this as I was in the bathroom earlier. Dave Meltzer is just the gossip girl of pro wrestling. Okay, continue. I'm not disagreeing with that assessment. <laughs> all right, we're plugging some stuff before we get out of here. As Magnum is digging his leg. Forty in. seconds. Come on, Mike. Uh, all right. Anyone that wants to join our pro wrestling scorecard uh, faction, feel I free to do so. 
uh, digital dot pro wrestling scorecards dot com in the factions. Enter seven A seven C C one. Visit the Twitter. Uh, I'll put it on the Twitter, but I'm plugging it here because it's a 15 minute podcast and I can plug right. this shit. 20 seconds. Uh, also, for those of you that are following along with us, we are having a new format for our wrestlers of the week. Our MVP section is out. Listen to that on Thursday. If we have an episode of Fergus can make it available, it will make it go We there. will have an episode this Thursday. If not, I'm going to murder him. We will uh, have an episode no matter what. Follow us on Twitter at Take Three Wrestling. Four seconds. I'm at They Call Me Burn. He's at JLo Shugga. He's Ernest EJ Christian Seven. Uh, that's Craig. Hi, Craig. Hi, Matt. Yeah. Peace out. Awesome, that was fast.